Today is the day you become a Gen AI expert. Forget boring theory. We are building something cool, an email agent called Eli that can summarize, search and even reply to your emails. By the end of this, you'll know how to combine LLMs, context, tools and parsers in Langchain. No learning without doing, right? So we'll build Eli step by step while I sneak in some Gen AI concepts. Let's go. This video is divided into seven parts. Part one, Gen AI basics. Gen AI workflows are simple if you break them down. First, specify the task. In this case, an email agent Eli. Second, gather and process data, like all my emails. As LLMs suffer with hallucinations and context issues, step three involves chunking if necessary. Then, the trick is to turn those email chunks into embeddings, basically mathy little summaries of the content. I covered embeddings in my LoRa video, check it out later. Next, we store those embeddings in a vector store. It's like filling a cabinet of your emails, but way smarter. This setup lets your LLM fetch only the relevant bits of information. Fancy name for this? RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Rankchain makes all this super easy, letting you mix and match tools, add memory for continuity, or even go multimodal for flashy features like avatars. But enough buzzwords, time to get our hands dirty. Part 2. Langchain Architecture First things first, installing Langchain. It's a bit more than your usual pip install. Langchain is modular, so you'll need to pick up the integrations you want. For core features, install Langchain. For community tools, install Langchain Community. For integrations like OpenAI, install Langchain OpenAI. For deployment and monitoring, there's LangServe, LangSmith, and LangGraph. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, I'm installing Langchain with OpenAI and some community loaders. Also, it's a bit different for JavaScript applications. Maybe that can be another video. Finally, Set up your API keys either as an environment variable or add it directly. My previous OpenAI video covers that exhaustively. Part 3. Langchain Loaders To feed Eli, we need email data. Langchain has a Gmail loader. But I am using the Gmail API directly because I have worked with it before. I have saved my latest 100 emails as a JSON file. Don't worry. Code, links are in the description. Langchain supports dozens of document loaders. Use them. Trust me, it saves time. Part 4. Langchain Structuring In Langchain, everything revolves around the document class. Think of it as a Python dictionary with two keys. One, page content for the main text like email body. And second, metadata for extra info like sender, date, etc. This structure keeps things organized. For my emails, the body goes into page content and the rest goes into the metadata. As you can see here, a lot of Langchain loaders load the data with the output class as document. So please familiarize yourself with it. Part 5. Vector Store Now, let's store those embeddings. I'm using Fias by Facebook. It's free and fast. But for production, try PG Vector, Millwells, VV8, or Pinecone. To be honest, they all kind of perform the same, but Millwells is faster. Since the vector store needs embeddings, I am using OpenAI embeddings. But you can use anything from word to vec to hugging face embeddings. Once indexed, we can query the vector store to find relevant emails. For instance, do I have emails mentioning LinkedIn friends? And boom, relevant results pop up. You can add more parameters here. The number of outputs needed, K, filters, based on metadata, and more. Part 6. Langchain Workflow We're almost there. Any Gen AI LLM setup has five elements to it. Prompt templates, LLM API setup, output parsing, chaining, and tracking if necessary. Let's look at prompt templates. Prompts are the backbone of LLMs. In Langchain, prompts use message classes with roles like system to give instructions for the model, user for questions or commands, 
AI message uh, for the model responses and tool to interact with the APIs. Here you can see the basic usage of messages with an LLM response. Notice how the class of the output is AI message. But a lot of times you need to generate these sentences dynamically. That's where the template comes into picture. With templates like chat prompt template, multiple messages can be kept together with placeholders in place. For instance, the variable Santa here can be set dynamically. For Eli, I'll use a system message to give instructions and a user message for input. Next, LLM setup. I'm using OpenAI GPT-4. Just import the class, pass your parameters, and you're good to go. For anything unsupported, there's model quags to pass custom settings directly to the API. Next, output parsers. As we have seen, the output is of type AI message, but raw AI message aren't always that pretty, right? Output parsers help format results into strings, JSONs, or even markdown. For Eli, I'm keeping it simple with a string parser. Part 7, chaining it all together. It is time to chain everything, guys. Langchain uses Langchain expression language to combine all the elements. In LCEL, the pipe operator chains them in order. Yes, order matters. For Eli, I will use invoke function to get the response, but you can use dot batch to send thousands of requests parallelly. The class of a chain is runnable sequence, and the Langchain team has overloaded the pipe operator to make a runnable sequence from multiple runnables. You can check if anything in Langchain is runnable or not by using the Langchain serializable method. Therefore, this is equivalent to running this in Langchain. For Eli, I'm combining my retriever, LLM, and parser to handle queries like, do I have any job offers? Spoilers, I don't. Thanks for reminding me. Haha. <laughs> One more. Do any emails need immediate attention? Hmm. Oh no. I better reply to these ASAP. And that's it. I hope the video serves as a good point to start working with Langchain. But remember, it's huge. Make sure to learn by doing, as it will never get over. What do you think? Too long? Too short? Too many bad jokes? Let me know. See you for the next one.